ready for a deep dive into AI territory. Today we're tackling a paper that's basically legendary, at least in the world of natural language processing, NLP for those in the know. Right. Attention is all you need. It's not just a catchy title. Definitely not. This paper sent shockwaves, changed the game for how we even approach teaching computers to, well, understand us. Exactly. Published back in 2017, but its impact, huge. Before this, researchers were banging their heads against the wall, trying to get computers to really grasp language, like all the nuances. Because it's messy. Human language, I mean. We've got sarcasm, double meanings, cultural references you can't just program in. And that's where this paper comes in. Before attention is all you need, RNNs, those recurrent neural networks, were the go-to tool. RNNs, right. But they weren't cutting it, were they? Not really. They struggled, especially with longer sentences. Like trying to get a complex idea when you're only allowed to hear one word at a time? Super frustrating. And slow. Imagine reading a whole novel like that, one word at a time. No way. Talk about inefficient. <laughs> so this paper basically said, hold my drink, we're doing this differently. Pretty much. They introduced the transformer model, and their big idea, the radical part, was ditching the whole sequential thing entirely. Whoa, no more going word by word. Bold move. Bold and brilliant. The transformer processes everything at once, parallel processing. So instead of reading a sentence like a line of ants, it's like our brains, seeing the whole picture instantly. That's a great way to put it. And this shift to parallel processing, that's what made everything so much faster, more efficient. Okay, but there's more to it, right? Yeah. Because this paper is called Attention is All You Need, and so far we've just been talking about speed. You're right. The real star of the show is attention. This is what makes the Transformer truly special. All right, then. Break it down for us. How does a machine learn to pay attention anyway? It's not like it can get distracted by a squirrel inside the window. You'd be surprised. But imagine you're looking at a page full of text. Do you give every single word the same amount of brain power? Probably not. I'm usually scanning for the good stuff, the important bits. Exactly. Your eyes are drawn to certain words, phrases that stand out. Maybe it's a heading, a word that jumps out, or something I've seen before, like a hook. That, in essence, is what the attention mechanism in the transformer does. Okay, so instead of treating every word like it's equally important, the model learns to prioritize. Exactly. It figures out which parts of the text deserve more attention, more focus. So it's not just finding the most important word in a vacuum. It's about understanding the relationships between words, how they all fit together to make meaning. Now you're getting it. And this attention thing, it's not just about single words either. That's what I was thinking. The paper mentions multi-head attention. What's that all about? Is that like having multiple AIs reading the same thing and comparing notes? That's a pretty good analogy, actually. Imagine instead of just you trying to understand a sentence, you have a whole team of experts. Okay, I like where this is going. Each expert with their own specialty. You got it. One might be all about grammar. Another analyzes the emotional tone. Another focuses on the context, the bigger picture. So it's like looking at the same sentence through multiple lenses, each revealing a different layer. Precisely. This multi-head approach allows the model to capture so much more nuance, depth. And this, this wasn't just some theoretical breakthrough. This had major real-world implications. Because when we're talking about AI, and especially natural language processing, it's easy to get lost in the weeds. But the reality is, this tech is already all around us. Absolutely. And the thing is, this paper, those ideas about attention and parallel processing, They've become the backbone for so many of the AI tools we use every single day. Okay, I'm hooked. Give me the examples. What kind of real-world impact are we talking about? Well, think about Google Translate. Remember how clunky and inaccurate it used to be? Oh, yeah, like trying to decipher a secret code sometimes. Now it's shockingly good, right. And part of that, a big part, is thanks to the Transformer. Or think about those chatbots that can actually hold a decent conversation these days. The ones that don't make you want to scream at your phone. Yeah, those are surprisingly good. Right. And chances are the Transformers behind that, too. It's not just understanding what we're saying, but actually generating coherent responses. That's wild. I had no idea this technology was so widespread. It's everywhere. Even that predictive text on your phone, the one that tries to guess what you're going to type next, often powered by models built on these same principles from the Transformer. Mind officially blown. So we're not just talking about understanding us, but actually generating human-like text on the fly. That's a whole other level. Right. And it all started with this one paper, this radical idea about how to approach language processing. This attention is all you need. Yeah. Idea really did unlock something, didn't it? And from the sounds of it, this was just the tip of the iceberg, right? You're catching on quickly. 
This paper didn't just solve existing problems, it opened up whole new avenues of research, new ways of thinking about AI. It was like a starting pistol for a whole new race in AI innovation. So what you're saying is buckle up because things are about to get even more interesting. It's like this paper didn't just unveil a new model. It gave us a whole new vocabulary for understanding how AI makes sense of language. <laughs> That's a powerful thing. It's about bridging that gap, you know, between human intelligence and artificial intelligence, making these complex systems more transparent, easier to grasp. Totally. But before we wrap up, attention is all you need. There was this one line that really stuck with me. They talked about making generation less sequential. Any idea what they meant by that? Ah, you picked up on that. It's intriguing, isn't it? Almost like they're hinting at a future where AI isn't just following our instructions, processing things step by step, but actually generating outputs in a more holistic, less predictable way. So less like we're feeding it data and getting a pre-programmed response, more like setting it loose to be creative on its own terms. Exactly. Imagine an AI composing a symphony, not by painstakingly arranging individual notes, but by understanding the feeling of the entire piece. Or a writer working with an AI that doesn't just suggest words, but throws out whole new plot twists, you know, really shakes things up. Okay, now that's both exciting and a little unnerving. Like, are we talking about a technological revolution and an artistic one happening at the same time? And that's what's so cool about a paper like, attention is all you need. It's not just specs and technical details. It sparks your imagination, makes you rethink what's possible. Not just in AI itself, but in the things we do with AI. Exactly. Like, they've handed us the keys to this brand new supercar we know how to drive, sure. But where it can take us, that's still up for grabs. And that feeling, that sense of uncharted territory, that's what makes this whole field so captivating. The tension is all you need wasn't the finish line, more like the starting gun. They fired it, and now the race is on. So to all our listeners out there, if you're even a little bit curious about AI, about how these models are already shaping the world around you, go check out the paper itself. We'll make sure there's a link in the show notes. It's dense, I'll warn you, but it's worth it. It's a chance to really get your hands dirty with research that changed everything. And who knows, maybe it'll spark an idea for you. Maybe you'll be the one to come up with the next breakthrough. Because just like in language, in the world of AI, attention is everything. Until next time, everyone, right. keep your minds curious and those imaginations running wild. Like this paper didn't just unveil a new model. It gave us a whole new vocabulary for understanding how AI makes sense of language. And that's huge. Bridging that gap between human intelligence and, well, the artificial kind, right? Making these systems less of a black box. Absolutely. But before we wrap up our deep dive into attention is all you need, there's this one line that really stuck with me. They mentioned making generation less sequential. And I've been turning that over in my mind ever since. What do you think they were getting at there? Oh, good catch. It's a bit cryptic, isn't it? But I think it hints at a future for AI that's, well, less about just following instructions. Less about processing things step by step. Yeah, exactly. More about generating outputs in a way that's, I don't know, maybe more human-like in a way, more holistic, less predictable. Okay, so less like we feed it data and get a pre-programmed response and more like we set it loose to be creative on its own terms. Now you're talking. Imagine an AI composing a symphony, not note by note, but by grasping the entire feeling of the piece. Or a writer working with an AI that doesn't just suggest words, but comes up with whole new plot twists, things a writer never even considered. Okay, I'm just gonna say th that's both exhilarating and a little terrifying, right? Like, huh. are we on the verge of a technological revolution and an artistic one all at the same time? And that's the beauty of this paper. It's not just a bunch of technical jargon. It gets your mind going. What's possible, not just in AI, but in what we create with it, that's the exciting part. Like they've handed us the keys to a flying car. We're still figuring out how to drive the darn thing. But man, the possibilities. That sense of the sky's the limit, it's intoxicating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what makes this whole field so captivating. And attention is all you need. It wasn't the finish line. Or like the starting gun, right? Exactly. They fired it, and now the race is on. So to everyone listening, if you're even a little bit curious about AI, about how these models are already shaping our world, go check out the paper yourself. We'll put a link in the show notes. It's a dense read, fair warning, but it's a chance to get your hands dirty with the real deal, the research that changed everything. And hey, who knows? Maybe it'll spark something in you. Maybe you'll be the one to come up with the next big breakthrough. Because whether it's language or AI, one thing's for sure. Attention is everything. Until next time, keep those minds curious and those imaginations firing on all cylinders. 